All right, some breaking news. Two line coaches will be walking away from the game. The offensive line coach and defensive coordinator, Paul Pascaloni. Everybody went waiting for Paul Pascaloni to get fired. And Matt Patricia released a statement. I'm not going to worry about uh, the offensive line coach. That is what it is. But uh, Paul Pascaloni has been the guy everybody been uh, jumping on. And I think he's a scapegoat. Obviously, uh, when you hear the statement that he made, Matt Patricia, I think they asked Paul Pascaloni to, to step down rather than, I think he had, Patricia had too much respect for, for Pascaloni to fire him. So they asked him to step down, and that's what he did. They probably gave him a little uh, money bag, uh, separation package, gave him some bread, and um, so he could go be with his family. But like I said before, he the scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? This is Patricia defense. And obviously, the, the force asked for him to change his staff. And he was forced to let Paul Pascaloni go. But, hey, let's talk about it. He says, on oh, Paul Pascaloni, Coach Patricia, well, Coach Pascaloni notified me this weekend that he will be stepping away from the Lions to be closer to his family. Coach P is one of the best men I've ever been around on both a personal and a professional level. I owe him so much, and I'm grateful of the impact he had on our players, coaches, and the support staff. He will continue to be a great sounding board for me as a coach, a father, and a leader. I wish him and his family well as they begin the new year together. So they waited to after the new year to let go past Paul Pascaloni, an offensive line coach. Um, I think I think they waited to, to, to the new year to have too much respect to fire him. Like at the end of the year, or was like New Year's Eve when they got rid of those coaches. He really liked Paul Pascaloni, but he was forced to get rid of him. I'm gonna tell you that. But deep down in his in his in his in his soul, he knew it was his fault. This is his defensive mess. The players they plugged in last year, they didn't play as good as they they money indicated or the contracts indicated. Paul Pascaloni was a scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? The offensive line coach getting fired was a scapegoat. No matter how good of a chef you are, if you don't have the right ingredients to make a good food, you're not going to make a good good meal. Okay? And he didn't have the ingredients to, to do well with the offensive line. That's Bob Quinn for him. Taylor Decker, Bob Quinn. Rick Wagner, Bob Quinn. Dow Wiggins not getting the left guard. Bob Quinn. Graham Glasgow, Bob Quinn. Ragnall, Bob Quinn. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, they wasn't the dude fought, but they scapegoats. The line four say, you know what? We got to shake some things up. If we're going to keep you guys as coaches, we got to shake it up so the fans can buy in next year. The season ticket holders can buy in next year. And, and we're going we're gonna to kick this thing off this year and try to remix it and, 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 and see if the fans will buy it. They've been buying it since 1957, no matter how, no matter how bad they are. They're going to buy it. We just got to mix some things up. Give them some hope in the offseason. Okay, okay, guys. Usually I say, don't go out there and spend money on splash free agents. Go get one splash free agent that they think is going to change the franchise around. Fire some coaches. Mix it around a little bit. And we're going to resell it to the, to the, to the Lions Nation. They're going to buy it again. I'm telling you how they think. That's exactly how they think. Paul Pascaloni was not at fault. He's not out there calling defense. He's a figurehead. He was a scapegoat. He was an old man that got a shot at the NFL because... He was Matt Patricia boy. He was his mentor. He was his friend. He was his father figure. They was cool. So that's how corporate America work. I'm going to hire you because you my boy. That's what Bob Quinn running. Uh, Caldwell was successful. Uh, I'm going to hire Matt Patricia because that's my boy. Or the capologist got us all this good money and, and got, out, got us from under all bad contracts. All right, we done with him. I hired my Patriot homeboy from the Arizona Cardinals. That's my boy. Matt Patricia, oh man, Josh McDaniels didn't want to come here and be the offensive coordinator. I reached out to Charlie Weiss. He was like, all right, we got to just, Daryl Bevel, you sound all right. Go ahead. Paul Pascaloni, that's my boy. Now, Pascaloni was really his defensive coordinator, and they weren't cool. He'd have fired him on New Year's Eve like everybody else. But they gave him the option. He'd be, hey, old man, you're going to get fired, or you better walk it like you talk it. Get on, my, get on out of here. This is what it boiled down to. Patricia ain't a good defensive coordinator, or it ain't work this year. We'll see what he what he do next year. But the way that defense played this year, as far as the scheme and the style, same way they played in New England. Didn't believe in being aggressive. So we'll see what they do next year. A shout out to Paul Pascaloni. Appreciate the time you gave him to Detroit. Um, you a real one. You took one for the team. You was the scapegoat. I'm pretty sure they uh, laced you with some money 
on your way out. So go enjoy retirement. Enjoy your family. Go fishing. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your grandkids, your great grandkids, your great, 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 great grandkids. And spend that lion's money wisely because Patricia going to be fishing with you next year probably if you don't get it together with Bob Quinn. So go out there, get you a nice big boat. Matter of fact, you know, get you a yacht. Get you a couple fishing rods next year because Patricia and Bob Quinn, if they don't get it right this offseason, the next season, they might be sitting next to you. But, hey, I linked that 97.1 article in the description. You can see what they said about the offensive line coach. I ain't worried about him. He was set up to the, to, to fail from the beginning. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, share the video. But that information is in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what y'all think about them getting rid of Pal Pascaloni in the offensive line coach. And uh, you got any guesses who Patricia going to make his defensive coordinator? Let me know. One time for the one time. CJ Goodfellow, Marcy Sports Talk. We go.